a lot of the times I feel like I'm running around like Chicken Little, screaming that the sky is falling. And then I think, okay, 79% of fishers were exposed to anticoagulant rodenticides um, with data up through 2012. And since that time, that number has increased up to 83% or so across three different study areas in the state of California. And so these marijuana grow sites are uh, more abundant out on the landscape than we ever thought possible, I'm sure. And then for our particular study, um, we've been monitoring causes of mortality now since 2005. And um, among male fishers at Hoopa, uh, over 35% of all the males have died as a direct result of tox toxicosis, either anticoagulant rodenticide or um, a different type of rodenticide that's a neurotoxin, 35% um, mortality. And the male portion of our population is declining rapidly to the point where there may not be enough males on the landscape at this point to breed with all the females we have. Site clean cleanups, uh, we've only just begun that. Uh, we've known that there were grow sites on the reservation for many years. And more recently, we've known that they're using these toxicants out here, um, such as these bottles of malathion, and there's a backpack sprayer. And then, of course, the anticoagulant rodenticides that's sh showing up in the fissures. Um, and so it's become way more apparent recently that there's a need to go out and clean sites up after they're discovered by law enforcement and um, dismantle them and get the stuff out of the woods. So last year was the first year that we did this. And on the first day, we did a one site that was uh, 26,600 plants spread out over a mile of creek frontage and um, had multiple patches to clean up. And we did that with 20 to 25 people that day. You know, you break into teams. Some of them go after the source lines, some go after the drip lines, and the others go after the camps and dumps. And you just work together as a team, and at least pairs, and pull everything together into places that theoretically you could lift out with a helicopter.